One of Uganda's endangered animals, the pangolin, is now listed by the United Nations as an endangered mammal. The Friends of Pangolins in Uganda have come up to advocate for the protection of this animal, whose scales are often sold for by sorcerers as a fetish and for decoration. So that's per se, the animal is endangered, it's listed, and it's all over the net. Just to go to Pangolin Project, just on the net, they will give you all that they need. All their focus is on the animal. But Ugandans, we are so much on Facebook, and Twitter, and other programs, social media, but we are not being involved in the pangolin. Poor sensitization has been cited as the major cause of the species' endangerment. Poaching of the pangolins for its scales had the one James Busagani arrested by the Uganda police in July last year. A senior warden with the Uganda Wildlife Authority, Samuel Amanya, says there are measures that can be put in place to preserve the pangolin race. There is what we call flagship species. You identify one species, but in the process of conserving it, you will conserve several others, and you will conserve the entire ecosystem. So even if the pangolin, pangolin is one or few of the many other species or animals we have, we can still have a greater activity, greater work done on conservation of pangolins. Four types of pangolins exist in Africa, including South Africa, Kenya, Zambia, and Uganda. The conservation of this endangered species, highlighted by the World Pangolin Day, is a boost to the tourism sector. Simon Mugisha, reporting for UBC News.